So I've been a dad for 26 years, uh, and I and just got to tell you, it's one of the most exciting times of my life uh, have been the last 26 years. When I first got the news that I was going to be a dad, um, you know, I, I wasn't nervous. Um, I was, you know, at that point, something clicked in me and he said, okay, um, there are things that, there are expectations that I have of myself and there are expectations I'm going to have for my family. Just making sure that, you know, I took a conscious decision to understand that, you know, that my decisions now affect much more than just myself or my wife, that, you know, there's this child who didn't ask to be brought into this world, but I'm so glad that they're here and it's my responsibility to take care of them. I came to Christ a little later uh, in my child's, in my children's development. Um, my, uh, my middle one was 14 years old at the time. You know, there, there was two worlds there. You know, the first world that you live without God, you know, and, uh, um, and then the world when you meet God. So before I could be a good father, I had to be a good husband. Later on when I met Christ and uh, I rededicated my life to him, um, it, it was much different. It was, you know, um, in fact, it, it was that point in my life, I can tell you, that transition point where I didn't want to be a hypocrite, right? I couldn't go to my son and my daughter and just be like, you know, hey, all that stuff we used to do before, we, we just won't do anymore. As much as, you know, as I wanted to do that, uh, I felt that would be hypocritical of me. So the, the thing I decided to do was, first and foremost, let me put it in prayer. And then second of all, once I do that, let me, let me walk you through a better way of doing it uh, that I've been able to learn. So um, I found the Block Church uh, through my, my youngest son, Michael. Uh, he knew that Sajal and I had been praying, kind of asking God to put us in a place where we, could, where we could be of use, where we could be a service to our community. And uh, Michael, uh, Michael calls me one day and he goes, hey dad, I got some place you should come check out. And I remember I went to the downtown service uh, and, and the location had just opened by the way. So it was like maybe the, the second service that we had at the, at the Center City location. And so I went down and, and I saw all these young people uh, just praising God. And I was like, you know, I kind of felt like the, you know, the, the old guy there, but you know, I was like, you know, Lord, if you sent me here, it has to be for a reason. And I just fell in love with the block. The first time I, I attended that service, the following week I came back with Sajel. And, uh, and Sajel looks at me, she goes, it's a little young for us, isn't it? And I was like, yeah, I was like, but it's funny how God's got jokes, right? He puts you where he wants you and not where you expect to be. So I'm an elder at the block church. Uh, I also lead the men's group. And you know, one of the things that's just exciting for me is when we, when we gather, when, when we uh, gather with the men, uh, young men, some a little more senior, uh, we get to talk about family. We get to talk about father, uh, you know, what it is to be a father uh, and how we reach out into our community and our responsibility as Christian men and, uh, and our role in helping develop young fathers and father figures and kind of just helping them walk through this life. You know, you can look back and you can say, wow, if not but for the grace of God, like I couldn't have done this myself. Being a dad has been one of the greatest joys of my life and uh, I just can't wait for, for the future for my children and, uh, and for Sajel and I. I'm Herb Melendez. This is my block, this story.